<clears throat> lighties, lighties, lighties. I'm here on the shmeal. I'm here on the shmeal with some uh, NFL news. I'm going to talk about some of the news around the NFL today. Um, so, we're still off uh, about first four, three, four stories. First story, first about like five here. I want to talk about some players that were fined um, for some of their penalties. Uh, in the games. Well, this first one wasn't a penalty, but the NFL fined hashtag Rams cornerback Jalen Ramsey $15,914 for a helmet to helmet hit on hashtag Panthers quarterback seat PJ Walker. No flag was thrown. So apparently, like, they go back and look at this um, that where there's no flags. I guess somebody looks at this. Um, See if they should have got a fine, and Jalen Ramsey got fined fifteen thousand nine hundred fourteen dollars. I don't know how they get a specific fine, what number of month, how many dollars, but he was fined for it. I mean, it was kind of his fault. I mean, he leaned helmet to helmet. I don't know how you can call, don't call a flag on that during the game, but you can fine him after. But it was Jalen Ramsey's fault. Kind of a dirty play. Uh, it was a helmet to helmet hit. He. He, cut, he leaned, hit him. So, flag should have been thrown, but at least he was fined for that hit. $15,914. Uh, next, hashtag Bengals defense man Trey Henderson was fined also $15,914 for his roughing the passer penalty Sunday in New Orleans. But the one uh, Joe Burrow got hit, Demario Davis, there was no uh, fine for the roughing the passer. So, if you're in a failure, you got to keep consistent with the fines. If you find uh, Trey Henderson, $15,914 for his wrapping the passer penalty Sunday versus the uh, Saints. You got to keep in sissy. You should find Demario Davis, $15,914. So, like to see the NFL keep it a little bit consistent. Hashtag Vikings running back Dalvin Cook was fined $7,426 for throwing the football into the stands after his game winning 53 yard touchdown run. In Miami, so he was fined uh, seven thousand four hundred twenty-six dollars so, because he threw the football in the stands um, after his game-winning uh, touchdown. I didn't see the game, so I, I can't really comment much on this. Much on this, so um, yeah. Hashtag Cowboys linebacker Micah Parsons was fined ten thousand six hundred and nine dollars. For unsportsmanlike conduct, flexing over and talking to ha to hashtag Eagles tight end Dallas Goddard in their loss on Sunday against the Eagles. And that's kind of soft, like for flexing over and then just talking a little bit to him. I mean, that's just how soft the NFL is nowadays. The no fun league. It's just that's just how it is nowadays. Um, NFL's just soft, in my opinion. I just don't know how they come up with this much money. This is a soft league. Um, hashtag Cowboys quarterback Javon Diggs was fined $9,577 for unsportsmanlike conduct, taking off his helmet late on hashtag Eagles touchdown and the loss um, versus the Eagles. He slammed his helmet down in the end zone after uh, the defense gave him a touchdown, which pretty much the Eagles to win. And so he's fined $9,577. I don't know how they come up with the, this much money for, for fines. Like $7,426, $9,577, $10,609, $15,914. Like I don't know how they come up with this much, how, I don't know how they come up with this total for fines, but whatever. And the NFL's just soft. No fun league. Soft league. But yeah, that's all for the fines. Now we're going to talk about the Broncos here. The hashtag Broncos will start QB Brett Ripon tomorrow versus the hashtag Jets as Russell Wilson won't play, source said. The final determination was more at, was made after he, threw this, after he threw this morning. Wilson received very few reps in practice this week. So with the hamstring injury, it was kind of obvious uh, he wasn't going to play. It was going to be the backup quarterback here, Brett Ripon, or how do you say his last name? Should be interesting to see how he looks. Maybe this will be the best Broncos QB performance this year. Hopefully, he can uh, have a pretty good game versus the Jets, and we'll see what happens. Maybe he'll uh, cause some quarterback controversy. 
in uh, Denver if he has a good few performances. We'll see. Uh, source, the hashtag commanders are placing QB Carson Wentz broken ring finger on injured reserve, meaning he's out the next four games. The, uh, the hope is he can play upon eligibility to return, but he will miss a reunion game against the hashtag Eagles. So the commanders, they're placing Carson Wentz on uh, injured reserve as expected. He's going to miss at least the next four games, and it's maybe fortunate he's not going to play the Eagles game because the first game against the Eagles, he got destroyed. Uh, they played awful. He did as well. So, I mean, that's a blessing in disguise. He won't, he'll pretty much be dodging the Eagles. Just saying. The hashtag Ravens have added illness designations to two players. Offensive tackle Ronnie Stanley and guard Ben Cleveland, who also has a foot injury. So, Ben Cleveland might not be playing against Cleveland. Both are questionable. So, they're questionable uh, to play tomorrow. We'll see if they play. They definitely need Ronnie Stanley on that offensive line. So if they don't play, that'd be two key players missing on the off the line. The hashtag Browns have activated linebacker Deion Jones from injured reserve, and the former hashtag Falcons standout will make his debut. Will it really matter, though? They're playing the Ravens. The Browns' defense is awful, and I'm not sure Deion Jones can fix that. Sources. Hashtag Lions punter Jack Fox is signing a three-year extension. That makes him the NFL's highest paid punter at $3.775 million per year with $7.5 million guaranteed. Fox would have been a restricted, a restricted free agent after 2022. So now he's, high, he's the highest paid NFL punter, so congratulations to Mr. Jack Fox. New hashtag 49ers running back Christian McCaffrey will make... Uh, is expected to play on Sunday versus Hashtag Chiefs despite only being acquired late Thursday night in a trade. So he's going to play a Sunday against the Chiefs despite being acquired uh, late Thursday night. So good to see uh, him making his debut just a few days after getting that trade to the 49ers. So yeah, but that's um, really it uh, for the NFL news. If, there's probably be some more injury updates because Adam Sheff or not Adam Sheff, injury reports we tweet some late at night. So I'll probably get some more injury updates later tonight. So I might have another NFL news via later tonight. But it's all Super Speech and next Mac all out. Peace.